guys, the people I know already, um, I'm a few years in the last year, I'm in business school. Uh, I'm actually on the research side, and also do some teaching, um, various bits and bobs. Um, I've worked in the first while um, Centre for Facilities Management, as was, until the dissolution of the centre. Um, so, um, but my background isn't in facilities management as such, so I've got, uh, I'm a bit of a jack of all trades, I think. Um, one of the things I do is uh, work with, um, teach first year under full time undergraduate students. Um, and really, what I've just realised during the course of the day is that I'm talking to the wrong people. Because, of course, um, because what I've actually wanted to say is really more directed to people who think of, when they hear the word technology, they think of high tech stuff and lots of new software and lots of new equipment and all that, and find it worrying. And I actually want to be a bit reassuring in that respect. So, I don't actually like to talk about high tech and low tech, I think right tech. Um, and to some extent we always use technology, almost always. Okay, at the moment, I'm, forget, if we forget that, I'm not using any technology as such, if I just use myself. But anything else beyond me, if I use a flip chart, pen and paper, that is technology. And I have no issues around, I don't consider myself a geek, but I don't consider myself a Luddite either, just to throw stereotypes around. I ask, I consider myself a horses for courses person, um, in the sense of I'm asking for technology that supports getting the message across and that actually does the job and that allows people to engage better. Um, and one of the things, one of the, Right. Oops. Where are the buttons? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. One of the assumptions I've come, I've come across, people talk about all students being digital natives. Now, what is a native? If, if you ask a native of Sheffield where the nearest signpost to the A628 is, then they'll probably give you a funny look. But if you say, do I need to walk on Beckelsall Road or Aberdell Road? They'll know exactly what you're talking about. So natives doesn't necessarily mean people know all of it. They know all sorts of secret pathways maybe, but they don't know everything. They might not even have a great overview. Um, and first year students, they might have grown up with things like that in their back pocket. <coughs> but if you ask them, and I actually, I wanted you to just do this test on you very quickly. Do you know how many applications, how many apps you've got on your phone? If you have a smartphone. Okay, do you know? I had to count them, it was about 96 or so. And that includes all the ones. Okay, next question. Do you know, you might know the answer to that, do you know how many apps you actually use on a regular basis? I think I I have to write it down. I think I use um, 28. And I asked my partner, I asked my husband, because, well, okay, he's a more than And he said 50. Well, out of the 120 on his phone, he used, he used 50. And then I asked him, okay, how many do you use for work? Might not be the same that you use regularly, but. Uh, any idea? Yeah. And I counted them and found about 24. That includes things, but that includes things uh, like Facebook, that includes where I put my work hat on, not the private one. Um, but that includes things like Evernote, note taking, anything, email. I've got two email accounts, okay. and so on and so forth. So just have a look at that. Now, I'm just asking that because there's a wealth of potential in there and I'm pretty sure none of us use the full use their their thingies, use their toys to the full potential. Um, now if you get a bunch of, of 18 year old students, I think you can see the point that I'm trying to make. If you ask them how many apps they use on a regular basis, they might have grown up with this. But they might only use about three out of three, three pieces of software on a regular basis, things like phone, maybe video in their friends when they're drunk, 
maybe just about reading the email. Yeah. What's that? What's, what's yeah. That? Okay. Yes. And sort of chatting to their friends. Well, that's not a lot. Okay. The other thing is that digital natives doesn't that mean it doesn't mean digital creatives. So when I go when I get a student, I got a student going. Oh, oh, uh, oh! This handout, uh, oh, this task sheet. Can I can I have an extra copy of that? Sorry, I only printed one for you. I said, well, don't you have a phone? Don't you have a, don't you have a phone? Yeah, I do. Doesn't it have a camera? Is it old fashioned? Oh. <coughs> it's just, it's simple things like that that don't occur to them because they don't put, they don't think about, or many of them, many of them, I say they, that's, that's not fair, but I'm stereotyping here, but a lot of them don't actually. <coughs> Are not actually very imaginative in the use of their of their various applications. So if we have a lot of notes on the whiteboard, I go at the end of the session and take a photo if I want to keep them. Or if somebody's done handwritten notes, I take a photo of them. If somebody is giving a in my for, for my own example, one minute, if I go and have one minute, hmm? one minute. One minute. If I go and have a dance lesson, I'll get I'll get I'll, I'll get the explanation videoed so that I can then take it away to a practice and use it. It's things like that. And all I'm trying to oops, do, I can find it. All I'm trying to say is actually, and I do that with my students, I say, have you tried Evernote? Have you got a, have you got, have you got a PDF reader on your phone? You could actually read some of those articles on there. You don't even have to carry them around with you or print them off. And so sort of gradually, gradually, I see as the sort of semester progresses, I can see them doing things that they didn't do before. But I'm, all I'm trying to do is challenge the assumption that they know all about what they've got in their pockets. They don't. And I think, I think staff would go on the journey of discovery with them. I've certainly been on the journey of discovery today because I'm going where I like the idea of um, what was it? Not, uh, the, the, the Padlet idea. Oh, yes. Great. Yeah. So I've learned something about new, new applications. Brilliant. Thank you for that. Is that and pass it off? Thank you. Thank you very much.